now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. One more storm to go. The third and final storm in four days arrives midday tomorrow, and it could have the highest impact across most of the Susquehanna Valley of the previous two storms. And then as the storm moves on out, it's going to be bitterly cold most of the week. I think we've got a three to four day stretch where temperatures do not climb above the freezing mark, and it's also going to be quiet other than a strong breeze through the week. It looks like our weather is going to be precipitation free until we head into Friday and Saturday after tomorrow's storm. So all is quiet right now on our Harrisburg sky cam right now. We're under mostly cloudy skies and sitting at 39 degrees and those dew points are now holding in the lower 30s. But we do have a winter storm watch that's in effect through Sunday afternoon through early Monday, maybe upgraded to a warning or an advisory. We'll keep you posted over the next couple of hours, but it is going to be quiet through the rest of the evening. Where's the storm right now? It's far, far away right now. It's making land fall along the California coastline and it's going to be hauling. It's going to be crossing over the country through tomorrow and be on the East Coast by early Monday morning. So crossing the entire continental US, the speed of the storm is actually going to keep the snowfall totals along the little lower side than we were earlier on the forecasting over the past couple of days, but still an impactful storm system across most of the valley. So for this evening, partly to mostly cloudy skies and chilly with temperatures near the freezing mark overnight tonight. Lows will be close to freezing. May see some breaks in the clouds very late tonight into early tomorrow morning. But then the clouds will thicken up during the morning and then during the afternoon. That's when the precipitation starts. Maybe briefly a rain snow mix and that will become all widespread snow and then continue through tomorrow night into Monday. And that's why we're making tomorrow an alert day. So here's what to expect. I think it starts moving in afternoon and continues to two o'clock with that rain mixing in. But temperatures will be above 32 degrees. So this is just going to make the roadways wet. We'll start to see that pick up in intensity in the snow by six o'clock. Still temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Then it's after six o'clock until two o'clock Monday morning when we're seeing the bulk of our accumulations and a plowable snow for some portions of the Susquehanna Valley. And then between two and four o'clock on Monday, the snow will start tapering off from west to east. Made it to 41 degrees today and the low this morning was 32. The second storm system was 1.2 inches out at Harrisburg International Airport. Most of the valley picked up between one and three inches of snow. Right now it's 38 if you're watching us in Lancaster. 30 six at this hour in York and 39 in Gettysburg milder off down to our south, but I think we're going to be seasonably cool through the evening and for tonight. And then here comes the snow on the predictor. Here we are at one o'clock. You can see that pink on there. That's mainly rain snow mix that will briefly mix in at times, but then by six o'clock in the evening, everybody's dealing with widespread snow that will continue to be light to moderate intensity to roughly midnight, and then it will start to taper off and should be out of here by four o'clock in the morning on Monday, leading to a cool Cool day, but dry day through most of Monday and on into Tuesday. So travel impacts start. Uh, we start seeing the impacts during the afternoon, still low impact because temperatures will be above freezing. It's Sunday evening and Sunday night when we'll see the bulk of our accumulations and maybe still dealing with this storm with snow covered roads on Monday morning. So looking at general three to seven inches across most of the Susquehanna Valley, but north and northwestern portions of the valley only looking about one to three inches at this time. So the storm system moves out early on Monday and then then look at the temperatures. Highs only in the 20s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Lows down into the lower teens. Ugh. Notice we stay dry though, but we could see some snow chances increasing in the forecast again as we head through Friday. So stay tuned. It's a fast moving storm system. A lot of moving parts with this. You know, one of the fastest we've seen in a while coming across the entire country sure. in less than 48 hours. So we'll keep you posted. And if you like snow, this weekend's for you. <laughs> That's right. right. Thanks, Ethan.